We need to chill a little bit. I am eating my words. Now I get it. My mind have changed. I am a comfort now. Hello everyone, welcome back to... Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a bit new and super exciting video. It is going to be an unboxing. I believe, well, I know this is the next it bag of 2023. The hard bag was all the rage last year, but it was mostly the Chanel's. But I feel like this year more brands are coming out with a hard bag. Originally, I'm not gonna lie to you, I hated the hard bag. I wasn't a fan of my mind have changed. I am a comfort now. I absolutely adored the hard bag. I don't know, there was something about it last year when my friend actually asked me what was my opinion on it i was just like this is something for like a kid to wear to me when when my friend asked me my opinion on the hard bag that's what i told her i told her this looks like something a 13 year old would just wear to the mall not an adult but i must say i am eating my words and honestly i'm probably the worst person <laughs> to ask opinion on like designer stuff because it's either I tell you to buy everything or I say no to everything. Now I get it. I am getting on board with the hard bag. I would say absolutely get yourself a hard bag. I will be unboxing for you guys the Alaya hard bag. I got mine from Selfridges. Nowadays, I'm gonna pretty much order everything from Selfridges, especially if it's something that I cannot wait to go to Paris to get because the amount of money you can save by shopping on Selfridges is ridiculous. So this bag retails for $11.70 I believe in the States, you know, plus by the time you add tax, it would probably cost you $1,400. This one ended up costing me, it's $8.25 on Selfridges and with the taxes, it ended up costing me $1,000. Yeah, technically, I am saving around $300 to $400 from this bag by buying it at Selfridges. I would say if you need something and Selfridges has it, get it from them. Technically, you end up paying what it would cost in the US before taxes, which is a lot because anything over, I would say $500, once you add tax, it gets crazy. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing three things for you guys a bag a shoe and a dress because i cannot wait to show you guys this dress just had to come in here and show it to you enough talking let's get into this bag i will be talking about the alaya heart or cur bag cur means heart in french um, it's here if you order from selfridges you know it comes in a regular box like this but inside is all yellow that's the selfridges color you've got a dust bag with it that says selfridges on it it's pretty massive but the bag come in this cute little box i was a little bit perplexed i was just like okay and i also seen some where this box is actually a heart but mine is square this is the looker i would say stop this video let me know which color do you guys think i got the red or the black i'm waiting type in the comments below i want to see if you guys are right on the color even though you're gonna know as soon as i saw this bag I just knew I had to have it and what I love is not a lot of people have this bag yet and I am predicting by next month you are going to be seeing this bag everywhere. It comes in this leather box. I believe this is leather box over here. Let's open it up. When you open it, more tissue paper. Boom. This is the bag. I mean, it's a good size. It says Alaya, more tissue paper and then when you open it, you've got, ladies and gentlemen, the Alaya hard bag. I got the color red. When I saw this bag, there was no if and buts regarding the color. I knew I was gonna get the red because I do not have anything red in my wardrobe. Especially now I wear a lot of black and I thought, you know what? If I'm going to get a hard bag, it has to be red. I mean, it's a hard bag. The heart is red, so it needs to be red. There was no thinking for me in terms of the color. I immediately knew my color was going to be red so the strap you can adjust it and make it longer if you like like so you can do cross body if you want to wear this during the day i love how sleek it is so it's not like cumbersome it doesn't have a belt buckle which i love i thought this was like super sleek and chic without having that little piece hanging one of my frustration when it comes to handbag strap is having that little extra leather just like standing out just looking weird i really really love the construction of this and the, this leather is probably one of the smoothest leather that i've ever seen in my entire life 
I hope it doesn't scratch but then again I just don't mind and you've got the zipper coming out on either side and then you open it like so on both sides you open it this is the inside of the bag how pretty is this like I said I was never a fan of the hard bag before this is the first bag that I saw that convinced me that I needed a hard bag this was it inside it says Alaya Paris made in Italy of course and see the construction of this it's superb and I'm gonna say it again, out of all the hard bags on the market, this is the one that I like. They also have the hard mules and I need a pair of the hard mules. They look so stunning. For the mules, I would probably get them in the black. I wouldn't get the red because I don't want matchy-matchy. The red was going to be my color. Like this is perfect for going out. And this is the strap guys. As you can see, you can make it so short if you want to. I have like a knot over here. I just have a knot on either side which is so cute so you can make it literally as short as you can show you what it looks like on me when i stand up also i forgot to tell you guys on my lips today i've got what do i have on my lip hot mama by the lip boy you guys know it's my favorite i get mine from target online my top this beautiful green jacket is actually from another stories as soon as i saw this i thought oh it's giving all the celine vibe and also this is the perfect jacket to transition into spring the color is perfection i just feel like i'm a walking gelato cone pistachio i just love this color so much it's perfect length it's perfect it's crop one thing that i realized i do not have enough crop jacket when i want to wear denim i always run into issue this is actually perfection i'm going to be wearing this all spring long and i've been wearing it in the house pretty much every day so i'm obsessed but let's get back into the hot bag from alaya you probably want to ask me is this worth it i think this is so worth it especially for the price point for this this is under they are vacuuming my hallway I'll be back. I will leave the specs on the screen in terms of the bag so you know what kind of size it is. Actually, the day before I ordered this bag, I went to Saks. It was the time that I went to Saks. You guys didn't get to see that because that vlog got co-opted. I had to delete everything. It was end of January. I went to Saks to return something and then I saw this bag and I'm just like, oh, actually I need this. And so this one comes in black and this gold. So far, I think there's only about four colors. Like I said, I knew I wanted this and the red color such a great color to just pop to an all black outfit to an all white outfit it doesn't matter what color your outfit is i think it goes and i'm not necessarily someone who's even into red accessories at all but this was the first time when i saw this i was just like wow watch it guys you are going to be seeing this bag all over the place i would say if you've been thinking about getting a designer hard bag consider getting the alaya one if i do get another hard bag it would probably be something a little bit smaller something so tiny and a micro it's like this is the perfect size it's going to carry literally everything well the necessities that i need when i'm going out to an event but i'm probably gonna wear this tomorrow so i've been wanting to do this unboxing so i can take it out i would say if you've been eyeing it yourself get it now that's the mistake that i make all the time designer stuff as soon as something comes out i want it i never get it and then and then it's kind of like almost double the price when it came out so i'm not making that mistake again when i see something come out as soon as i see it i am going to get it if i don't like it i could always sell it now let's move on onto these shoes it is so funny these shoes i wasn't even thinking about getting them because in my mind i'm just like there's no way i am going to be finding these shoes in no way originally i wanted the prada slingbacks like the regular ones either in the black or the metallic ones this wasn't even in my mind like i said i just knew nowhere had these shoes i have not seen them in so long Unless a fateful night i just decided to search orange prada wedge and these came up and i found them i think they were under 700 dollars. i think i found them for 600 dollars. i could not believe my eyes i could not believe my eyes they are here let me open them for you like when i tell you i was so excited to get these shoes like omg wait till you see them i just feel like they don't necessarily make these shoes kind of like often i don't know what i'm saying you can probably quote me and if you're lucky enough you can find them if not then no i got them i got my regular size is six typically Prada shoes or like one bigs for me i have to like size down but they didn't have my size i mean these with these shoes it's kind of like if you're even lucky enough to find them in your size you kind of have to get them so i'm a regular 
36 and I did get the 36 I'm like if anything I could probably get something to put on the inside to make them fit They kind of fit, you know, they're not loose at all. The new Prada shoes are way too loose for me I do have to size down, but I do find with these they're like super comfortable The fit is it I would say I I love them I've just been waiting to do this unboxing just so I can take them out for you guys and start wearing them Whoa, I am obsessed with these like like when I tell you I've been waiting for for these shoes and you guys know orange well if you didn't know I'm letting you go know now orange is the color that I nominated for me for this year orange is my color it's the color that you are going to see me wear all the time but prepare to be sick of me in orange when I saw these I just could not could not pass up I just had to get them they are just so stunning all I know is I'm just so lucky to have found these shoes that's all that matters that's all that I care about you guys know I'm trying not to be like so classic and so boring when I wear a suit especially white suit I want like a fun shoe to wear with them I want to inject a little bit of color and I felt like these shoes would actually be the perfect uh, remedy I am so obsessed with these I cannot wait to to wear these OMG these are just so stunned if you've been looking I would say perhaps just like search it randomly you may just like find them link it where I got it below to see if my size is still available I'm not sure anywhere that I can find it online I will link it below for you guys to check it out if you've just been thinking about them they are so fat next thing is a pink dress that I've been wanting I think I've told you guys so many times I've been looking for the perfect pink dress I wanted something that was fun a little bit sexy and flirty I didn't want like a typical pink dress although I did get one which is super classic and typical of what I would pick for myself I still love it it's one of the most stunning dress that I've ever worn I love it so much but I wanted something flirty the only one that I could see was the Magda Buckthrum one Sometimes, yes, I invest, but it's not every day that I want to spend $2,000 on a dress. You know, it's a little bit absurd. You've just been looking for the perfect pink dress. And I discovered this designer on Seasona, but I didn't get this from Seasona. And I tagged her. She was so lovely. Nana Gotti is the designer. She actually gave me a code for you guys if you guys are interested in checking this out. It's Chic15. I'm going to leave it on the screen and also in the description box. And I'm going to link this dress below. This is the name of the designer, Nana Gotti. Wait till you guys see the pink dress. Like, it has this giant bow over here. I'd say it kind of runs true to size. Although this one is a little bit big for me. It's slightly loose, but it's not that crazy loose where you're like, you can't, you know, you can't take it. It's like perfectly loose for me. Again, you can always get the strap adjusted. All I need to do is move the buttons. So I can move the button. It's only a little bit loose on the strap, not necessarily the body. The body fits perfectly. It's just that extra strap on the back, which I love. This is such a cute detail. So I'm going to take it into my tailor and have the button move maybe like one centimeter. I don't even know what I'm saying, one centimeter. Like, what is that supposed to even mean? You guys know what I mean. This giant bow, and I was just like, oh my god, this is actually so cute. And it has the smallest slit on the side over here. So freaking cute. And you've got darts. I always tell you guys, if you are flat and rectangle like me, try to buy things with darts because darts is going to give the illusion that you have curves. So I love that. I love this dress so much. This is the perfect pink dress that I've been looking for. I've dreamed of this dress like this for so long. And the price wasn't bad either. This was under $400. We just won. I think this is $450 plus I got a coupon code. Price was pretty good, I think, especially for like designer prices. And dresses, especially these days, I just feel like every dress is over $500. And I'm just like, what happened? I'm like, what happened? to the days where dresses were around 250 or 300 now i just feel like every time i'm looking for something every dress that i keep finding everything is like over 500 and i'm just like we need to chill a little bit hello i don't know inflation and all that stuff but you guys are just taking a little bit too far but, but but for a dress like this, I think it's worth the money because this detail, it's such a beautiful detail. It is so well made. So I actually think this is the dress that is worth the $500 price mark. Um, you can see all the detail that goes into it. I just love this so much. It is so pretty. Like I said, I just love this giant flower. Oh, this be like a nice little... So cute. We love the Nana Gotti team. She is just so lovely. They also have this in the skirt and top combo, which I want to get. It's a crop top with the skirt. Honestly, I just want everything Nana Gotti makes. I just want everything. But this has been it for my video. So if you guys are thinking about getting a hard bag, 
definitely consider the LIR hard bag. So if you've been looking for the perfect pink dress, consider getting this one. And also, I hope you guys like my Prada shoes, but do let me know which piece was your favorite. I'm pretty sure all of them would be your favorite. Well, maybe not all of them because we all don't have the same taste. I'm pretty sure you guys will be just so happy to see these pieces. I'm so excited to add these pieces to my wardrobe. So, so happy about them. Thank you again so much for watching. I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.